Back in 2005, I was 12 years old. I was living in a world without strong internet connections. It was a healthy lifestyle back then. I remember riding bicycle back home after class. I would pass by this small alley and I saw a big wall stand beside. It was huge. One day, I'm riding bicycle back home. I saw the wall was covered by yellow ink. Spray paint smells still there. I believe somebody just did it. I don't really understand that drawing until I read an article from newspaper. The article called "Writings on the Wall." After reading it, I was like, "Wow, I'm going to give it a try." From then onward, my eyes always draw into graffiti, no matter it come from newspaper or street. That's the moment I got addicted into graffiti. In 2009, graffiti scenes started to grow in Malaysia. Back then, we had limited choice in graffiti tools. That's the era people start to be innovative in creating their own tools. Local artists had improved their skill and style over the year. I took this initiative to bring my black book along whenever I attend graffiti conversations and try to meet the artists. Sometimes I even have a chance to listen their life experience. Nowadays, I am writing prose as my graffiti tag. It's because I love to discover graffiti writers' name and story. Bubble letter is my favorite style. Whenever I spot a strategic spot, I'll place my artwork there. Continue whatever I do until the end. Ah, <laughs> 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 this is so good.